Cassius Clay goes into the record book with Corbett, Tunney, and Braddock as another who brought off one of the great upsets in the heavyweight history. It is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in, beating a big, bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. That's when that little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. He hit harder than George. His reach was longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sonny Liston. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaw's been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Greatness. It's just something we made up. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few, for prodigies, for superstars, and the rest of us can only stand by watching. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. All of us.
But it ain't on Cam's shoulders no more. It ain't on Farley's shoulder no more. It ain't on Bo Jackson's shoulder no more. Now greatness is on whose shoulder? That's why I wake up every morning at 2 o'clock, 2.30. Because I got my mama counting on me. I got my sister counting on me. I got my son and my daughter counting on me. I got a world that gets up every morning and watches me. I got little kids who don't believe that they can do it. When they saw me, they thought now they can do it. So I get up every morning at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Why? Because greatness is upon me. Dr. King is dead. Malcolm X is dead. I'm that new guy. I'm that new inspiration. I'm the guy you look at when your daddy ain't in your life, when your daddy in prison. I'm that guy that comes to your high school and tell you, you can make it happen. Greatness is upon you, you better act like it. I'm going to show you how great I am.